greatest weapon of all. First step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. It's time you started to Pain isn't something we thought. All we could ever do for our heroes is remember them. And they gave up two lives. The one they were living in and the one they would have lived. They gave up everything for our country, for us. They pray for freedom and justice. Some veterans not getting the timely care that they need. Less than 1% of Americans serving in uniform. Good news is, is that in recent years, we've made historic investments to boost the VA budget. What is it? Why should we care? We should care about press freedom because... Because we were informed. In democratic societies, free, diverse, and pluralist media enable public debates and are essential checks You don't look power. satisfied. Let's discuss. Um, hi guys, welcome to Red to Void uh, podcast, a new episode about commissaries and exchanges. If it's your first time listening, then thanks for coming. And uh, as a short reminder, vet to vet is a non-profit educational project dedicated to assist veterans with the adjustment to civilian lifestyle and to provide assistance in obtaining your VA and other available benefits you have earned. So, uh, commissaries, military service exchange, and uh, MWR access extend to more veterans beginning January 2020. A new law provides uh, eligible veterans and primary family caregivers with access to DOD and Coast Guard commissaries, exchanges, and moral welfare and recreational retail services. So we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, that system in general and about new law. So every service branch has its own exchange system, either a post exchange or PX or a base exchange or BX. And they're all operated separately, but if you're eligible to shop at one, you can shop at any of them. Me and Air Force Exchange Services or AFES, shop My Exchange and AFES Store Locator. Marine Corps Exchange or MCX, My MCX and My MCX Store Lo Locator. Navy Exchange Service Command or NEX, My Navy Exchange and NEX Store Locator and Coast Guard Exchanger CGX and CGX and CGX Store Locator. Uh, so why shop the exchange? Uh, what, what, what are the reasons? So the basic one everybody loves it's that it's tax free. You could buy name brand stuff for less than department store prices, keep more of your hard earned paycheck. Support your community. A large part of the profit from your exchange goes right back into the installation. The exchange system also employs a lot of military family members. You can shop 24-7 through secure websites, get free shipping on purchases over $49 when you use your Military Star credit card. Your exchange accepts all major credit cards, your Military Star card, or personal checks with an ID, and most exchanges have generous no headache return policies. Everything from your standard uniform needs to the perfect shade of shoe, polish, plus gear and wear that shows your pride. Uh, discounts can make deployments easier. For example, you'll save on calling cards. If you're stationed overseas for at least 30 days, you may be able to buy a car, a car tax-free and ship it back to the U.S. at no cost. And then they basically have everything like electronics, tackle. Uh, tactical gear, clothing for everybody, small to major appliances, bath and personal care, cell phones and computers, fitness equipment and foods. You name it, they pretty much got it. So what it is in exchange? It's basically a retail store, kind of like Target, typically set up like a department store or a strip mall with smaller shops and service vendors nearby. Many installations have exchanged, some with uniform shops, barber shops, laundry and dry cleaning, gas stations and convenience stores, fast food outlets, and lawn and garden shops. Yeah, that's exactly what we have here in uh, um, Air Force Base in uh, LA. Yeah, like a big target, basically. So who can shop at an exchange? You could shop at the exchange if you're one of these groups. Uniformed service member that's in active reserve or retired. All honorably discharged veterans. On at online at, exchanges. Yeah. All honorably discharged veterans at online exchanges as of November 11, 2017. Medal of Honor recipients. Department of Defense civilian employees stationed outside of the United States. 
authorized family members, National Guard members not in federal status, military members of foreign nations, and survivors. What's the status of force agreement or what does it uh, have to do with uh, military stores? So with this agreement, your legal status as a, mil as a U.S. military personnel is protected in your host nation. Your privilege to shop in military stores is almost always covered, but sometimes, as they say, restrictions may apply. The changes that we're going to incur on uh, January 1st, 2020 are going to add one more category uh, to, uh, to the list. Yeah, and that's going to be a lot of us. Mm -hmm. So, veterans that will be eligible are Purple Heart recipients, former prisoners of war, and veterans with a 0 or 90% service-connected disability rating. This, is, this expansion is about a 50% increase in customers. Currently about 6 million total households are eligible for the benefit. This adds 3 million, said uh, Justin Hall, director of the DOD Office of MWR and Resale Policy. So the required credentials. On January 1st, veterans eligible solely under this act who are eligible to obtain a veteran health identification card must use this credential for in-person installation and privilege access. The card must display the veteran's eligibility status as Purple Heart, former POW, or service connected. And you could apply at the VA.gov website that's linked right here mm -hmm. or VA.gov slash health benefits slash VHIC slash index dot ASP. Veterans el eligible solely under this act who are not enrolled in or are not eligible to enroll in VA healthcare or who are enrolled in VA healthcare but do not possess a veteran's health identification card will not have access to DOD and Coast Guard installations for in person commissary exchange and NWR retail privileges, but will have full access to online exchanges and American Force travel. Medal of Honor recipients and veterans with 100% service-connected disability ratings are eligible for DOD credentials under the DOD policy. For caregivers, eligible caregivers will receive an eligibility letter from VA's Office of Community Care. If you are a primary family caregiver under the uh, PCAFC and lose your eligibility letter, please call 1-877-733-733. 7927 to request a replacement letter. Please allow two weeks for processing as everything takes a second to get to you. <laughs> right. Oh, if you have a book, great movie, stuff to do, you would recommend? Haven't seen it yet, but of course, I definitely recommend the new Star Wars movie. I'm going to be watching it pretty soon, I'm sure. I just haven't got to it yet. But I know it will be good, so watch it. And a uh, quote or words of wisdom of the day? We used to build civilizations, now we build shopping malls. Said by Bill uh, Bryson. Uh, that's it, folks. Thanks for listening. Until next time, over and out. Thank you.